for Dallas, Texas, we're going to review placing the uh, screw fixation pins onto a practice plastic skull with the Lexel frame system. Um, as you see here, this model has been set up and kind of rigged with towels on top of the head. And this is actually something we do pretty commonly um, with a nurse or another neurosurgeon's assistant as far as trying to line up the Lexel frame. The CT frame is quite a bit taller as far as superior height um, above the base of the ring. Um, with the MRI frame, you don't need to quite build it up as much, but this technique helps to do a couple things. It helps prevent you from placing, the, especially the MRI frame, too low to where you cannot get it fixated on the skull. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute after we get this um, skull uh, screwed, um, instrumented in. And the other thing it does is it helps allow whoever's assisting you to kind of just use the top as a reference frame. Okay? I've already pre-measured some of the screw lengths by using a syringe, but the other thing you can use is a uh, Q-tip or um, a sponge stick works just as well. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead after, obviously if it's a real-life patient, you'll have injected the patient and uh, after you've pre-measured your screw length. We'll go ahead and just start placing these in where they're not touching the skin in a, in a live patient to get them started. And today I have two screwdrivers, so what we'll emphasize is, is placing opposite corners. Okay, And now you can start getting those closer to the skin slash the simulated bone. And you ideally want to place in opposite corners. Your ideal screw length placement will have you have the threads barely or not showing and that will be ideal sometimes you have them further out but that's hard to quite um, simulate um, in this environment here today so as we're screwing these in we want to screw opposite corners in and get good purchase and then we'll use the other two corners to get good purchase on before we do our final tightening for applications such as the Gamma Knife, we have a torque wrench, which we can assess the actual amount of torque we're placing onto the skull. And we set those at three foot pounds and then uh, have those go up in strength to approximately 6.4 for our titanium posts, approximately five for our carbon fiber posts. Now as I'm screwing this in, I'm feeling for the tension um, and the torque that I'm putting these screws in. But the other thing is, as you're screwing these in, you can sometimes see the actual toes slightly lean back if you look at them just ab above in a vertical sense, in superior to inferior, and you can kind of see that on this back post here. As I'm screwing it back in, it, it is slightly folding back, and it's just very slight. It's hard to appreciate that with me moving the skull. And then you come back and get your final tightening. You obviously don't want to violate the inner table of the skull. And this, this feels very nice and tight. And this, per, this placement of the screws is ideal. It's a, obviously above the orbital bone. And you don't want it too superiorly because they'll slip off. And as I pop this off here, the other thing we want to notice as I get these towels out is your anterior posterior placement is going to be slightly still too posterior. It, you're probably going to maybe touch the bridge of your nose, which is not ideal. And you probably would like this frame, to, the ring of it, to sit a little higher to get access to the airway. And that's the reason we use the bent front piece. So this is not perfectly ideal, and if we could move this, these posts further down, that would bring the frame up, which would be a little more ideal for the, for the operation and for anesthesia. And again, what we're concerned about is I've seen using the two side pieces for the EAC where other residents have um, placed this frame on too low, and we, we always want it low for accessing the temporal lobe. Um, with our stereotactic um, uh, planning. But if it's too low, 
on the MRI frame, the head or the skull and the head will hit the top of this box. Here for the CT, obviously, there's a lot more clearance, as I said. But that prevents the, you know, if the skull is approximately this much higher because of the placement, you cannot get the plastic reference frame on, and that causes you to have to start over, and it's uncomfortable for the patient. For the next part, we're going to go over and talk about hooking this frame on to a Mayfield adapter and dealing with the components that you use inside the OR. Thank you.